ओम अस्मदुर्भ्यो नम श्री कृष्ण परब्रमणे नम दिस इज चैप्टर वन श्लोक थ्री पश्येता पांडुपुत्राण आचार्य महती व्यूढ़ा दुर्पदपुत्रेण तव शिष्येण धीमता इट मीन्स ओ आचार्य बिहोल द मई टी आर्मी ऑफ द सन्स ऑफ पांडु अरेड इन टू बैटल बै योर प्राइज प्यूपल दृष्टद्युम्न द सन् ऑफ दुर्पद Duryodhana addresses Drona as acharya because he taught not just the Kauravas but the Pandavas too. He taught the science of warfare and he is addressing this to show you shouldn't be partial because he was the teacher. Tavasishyena dhimata. So by this phrase Duryodhana is saying that Dronacharya is so simple hearted that he taught Drushtadyumna a person literally born to kill Dronacharya the science of warfare. Drupada putrena So the story goes that Drupada he had uh, enmity with Dronacharya so with the motive of getting his honor killed he asked two brahmanas Yaja and Upayaja to perform a yagnam that will grant his son Drushtadyumna the ability to kill Dronacharya Why is Duryodhana calling him as Drupada putrena instead of calling him his actual name Drushtadyumna right yes so Duryodhana wanted to remind Dronacharya of the enmity between him and Drupada so uh, he actually meant it as a good opportunity to take his revenge against Drupada Anduputrana etam vyudham mahatim chumu pasya Duryodhana says acharya look at the pandava army they had Drushtadyumna as the general If they loved you so much why did they choose the one who was born to kill you as the general though the kauravas were larger in number to duryodhana it felt that the pandavas were larger mightier the kauravas had 11 akshohanis while the pandavas only had 7 one akshohani is 21870 chariots and elephants 65 610 horses 109350 foot soldiers just imagine the kauravas had 11 of those while the pandavas only had 7 but still duryodhana felt that the pandavas were more mighty this is because one the pandavas were arranged in such a way that duryodhana felt the army was bigger and two all the pandava warriors were one in mind they were fighting for the same reason to uplift righteousness dharma so they seem stronger and more unified for this duryodhana is telling to dronacharya hey don't underestimate don't underestimate this army you better come up with a good plan to defeat them because they are mightier than they seem this is the end for chapter 1 slokam 3 see you for slokam 4